as they leave the grid for this one. Let's take a look at the Kerrick Sports sedans here. And it's going to be between these two on the front, you'd think Ricky Dello and Randall, Perkins and Stephen Tomasi on the next row. Got some names like Peter Beninka, former champ Bruce Banks is in the category also. Starting at eight for this one. Yeah, well, Steve Tomasi cleaned up here last weekend at this round, but he's got a little bit last year, I mean, at this round, so he's got a little more competition this year. Some of the names over the page, including guys like Bruce Henley, Graham Gilliland, the former sportsman super speedway champion from the Calder Park days, further down the field. Guys like Barry McGaw, the stall cartage entry, down to Liam Hill, who had a moment in qualifying today where the car stopped at around turn four there with an issue, and they've got that repaired. He'll start out of 16. So they'll stack them up. We'll wait for the green flag in front of us. It's 10 laps around Winton Motor Raceway for round two of the Kerrick Sports Sedan for 2015. Very nice build up, and here's the green flag. And away we go. Jack gets a huge jump off three. He's going to stick his nose down the inside there. He thought about it's it. It's better part of it. The track will be still a bit dusty down there from the earlier Touring Car Masters race we saw. We're going to go three wide up here in a minute. I'm guarantee you Jack's going to stick it right in there. So showing his race craft. Jack should be pretty good on cold tyres too. He has a lot of experience. Very well presented car as we see. Ricky Dello hit the dirt on the exit of three. And it's run down to the long sweeper. We've seen plenty of cars go up here this weekend. And semi-cold tyres. It is a sunny day. We've had very cold conditions. It was one degree when we arrived here this morning. It took a long time for the track to warm up. Yeah. So everybody safely through on the first lap. Cars battling for positions further down the field. You enjoyed a bit of racing in the first round at Sandown at the Mark Australia entry. How'd you find it? That was good. We took the car there to try and tune out a few little problems and develop it. And we had a lovely weekend. We we're a bit slow in a straight line, but we had some good time mid-corner. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Under brakes. It was pretty good fun. Look at Randall starting to pull away from the field already. Perkins yes. has got a bit of time here, but Ricky Dello sitting back in third position here. He's time. had a look in there. He's in there. And the eight-time champ moves up on the dirtier part of the racetrack and manages the pull. The BM Ricky Dello's the pits. Now what's happened here? Not obviously an issue. I didn't see any problem with this jumping the start no. or anything. Nothing on our monitors here, so this will spice it up if he's gonna come from the rear. There's no dramas for the Auto Union Deutsche sponsored car. Uh, I spoke to him, he said they had a, an engine issue in the first practice, so not much track time, but obviously got it sorted for, for quality. Well, he's coming in, that's a stop. As we go back to action further in the field here, the centre line spent suspensions entry heading through. Of Muscat, he's been here for many, many years now, and what on earth has happened here for Jack Perkins and the John Goulet owned? It doesn't really look like any urgency, no, so it doesn't. it's obviously pretty terminal. Well, it's going to be down to Randall and Ricky Adello, you'd think, here. They're 1.7 seconds down the road to Tomasi as they come around that historic gum tree that's older than you and I combined. Yeah, yeah. I remember coming here when it wasn't that big, but that gum tree, so... <laughs> you've had some success over the years here. Yeah, especially in the, uh, oh, the short version of the track. The BMWs are always brilliant around this place. It was, uh, especially in the Group A days when you had Sierras and Commodores and you come to a circle like this with a... With a Group A BMW against those cars it was a lot of fun. This section they're heading on to now was extended in 1997 and about a kilometre to the circuit. And what you see today, Winton Motor Raceway, the 30th anniversary of the Australian Touring Car Championship V8 supercars coming to this part of the world. The yeah, extension's good, mainly for the pit lane. The pitch used to be on the inside, so coming up there, we can see that shot there now where all those tyre barriers are. I remember have... it well, yeah. a double stack, double stack. Of the lane, you get clipped by the air spike and all those sorts of things. We watch Bruce Banks coming through here, former champion in the category here. This BJ Banks Mazda RX-7, quite a popular choice in sports sedan racing. The yeah, car looks nice on the road too. So Randall, who's got the lead here at the moment comfortably now, 2.3 seconds. We watch a slow-mo of Bruce Banks coming through, just that lick yeah. of flame, something we yeah. miss, don't we? Yeah, tipping a bit of fuel in on the overrun. And what that does, it's when you get back on the gas, it's tipping fuel into the engine and it gives you instant throttle response. So um, you'd see that a lot in V8 supercars and sprint racing, and then they'd pull that out for endurance racing, so you're uh, trying to um, save fuel. So. Yeah. Back to McLeod here in the battle. This is There's down to seven, eighth and ninth, possibly 10th position. A slick 50 entry, looking as good as it always did. That's immaculate. We can't stress how good this looks when you get up close and personal here in the paddock at Winton. Certainly 
Certainly is a piece of art. Replicating yeah. his 80s model RX-7 he ran at Bathurst. And to have that sponsor over a 30-year yeah. span is pretty cool. So I wonder if they dig out the old original T-shirts <laughs> through uniforms. I know you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're working lap four of this race. Thomas Randall, well and truly out in front, defending Formula Ford champion in this country right now. Five-time karting champion. Rick has just punched out a, a lap time about half a second than Randall. And just easing his way into it, one of Eight-time champ in this category now. Brother Basil was very successful back today. They run a mechanical business over in North Perth. There's the 32 Having machine of Robinson. Gets his nose well until he chopped off, so... Nice and bruised when it gets back later on. And now McLeod starts to feel pressure from Woodman, it is. That's a nice move into there. So a gearbox issue just being told by oh. Whoop. Off goes the 56. And Banks has come undone here at the top, just prior to the gum tree. So it was a gearbox issue for Jack Perkins' car. That was oh, okay. off gear, just been coming through from race control. This will be a Banks coming through. It's very easy to do because it unloads to one side of the car. Did he get some assistance oh, here? Oh, he got a nice yeah. bit of help. More on the latter. Yeah. The former champ gets spun around, and there's plenty of area there to spin the car around and get back on. I think the saving grace this weekend is we've had no rain around here. Years gone by, it tends to flood up down there. Once you're off, you tend to stay off. So McLeod's been passed here by Woodman, so he moves up to sixth position. Let's Robinson. Have a look here. Yeah, Robinson looks racy here in the Monaro. Two leaders trading blows here at the moment. Randall responded last time by. The gap's gone out to 2.1 seconds as McLeod looks for a pass down the inside. A long way back. Gets a long done. way back. And he's going to hang tough on the outside here. Uh, I think he will. There's three <laughs> wide here. This is great stuff. And Robinson will be the big benefit out of this. And he'll move up a position. Pete's still hanging on the outside there. This is good but, stuff. Uh, that's not going to last for long. Eventually he's going to have to tuck back in. If he does, he'll lose another spot. That'll be Beninka going through. Yeah. That's what can happen here. You just get hung out to dry and offline. It's pretty dirty. You pick up pick up a lot of debris in your tyres. It takes probably another three, four corners to clean that back off. So um, the best thing is to do is just give it up, lose one spot, not four. Yeah, exactly right. So now falls back in the clutches of Peter Beninka, the brother of Dominic Beninka, former GTP champion back in the 90s. Run their own automotive workshop these days in Melbourne. Robinson gets onto the back of Woodman here. This beautiful M3 BMW, the Landell Science sponsored car. Debuted in Target Tasmania before turning to sports sedan racing. Really? It's a yeah. Road yep. car to a sports sedan, that's a bit of a step up, is it? Yeah. Would have been a nice transition. Obviously a fair bit of work going on to it. Yeah. Ricciardello's thrown it wide. A rare mistake for Tony Ricciardello, and he's gone off down at turn three. He's still wide in the gas here, trying to get it back on the track. It's deep sand. It's almost Western Australian sand down there, isn't it? So Tomasi will definitely go through. Just come out in front of Smith, you'd think, had a big gap back to them. So Ricciardello has sold himself out of second position, and it's still full of dirt. It's dumping a lot of stuff on the racing line. So did he do this all on his own? He must have, because he's the only one down there. Uh, on the white line under braking. So left rear on that white line, which can get a bit bit loose. So easy to do, though. Yeah, it is easy to do. The front of the Alpha scoops up. And he keeps it into the gas, as you say. He's up the position, stays in third. Let's go back to this battle between Woodman and Robinson. On lap six, so we're halfway home in the Kerrick Sports and Ants, the second round of the championship this year. And Randall's lead now 14 seconds, so he can shut down the race as a round. Beninka goes around in sympathy. Well, he might have got into him there, didn't he? Or did Pete just lose it? Hopefully we'll get a replay. I'll do some fence sitting here. <laughs> yeah. Both these cars stranded underneath the gum tree. There we go. The sun. So watch the background of this shot. Nah, he's lost it on his own. Beninka doing the right thing here, spinning so he didn't. He almost gave the front of the RX-7 a little love tap. Just looking back behind the trees. So he just gassed it up too much down there. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think he was back on the gas. To me, it looked like he was still under braking. So he's trying to fire the old girl back up. 
He's got a massive turbo charge that thing sitting in the passenger seat. It's, it's pretty it's a bit of a beast. Yeah, what we've got to stress about <laughs> with this category, you know as well, the engines virtually sit next to the passenger seat. So much so, guys like Thomas Randall wear a heat guard on their legs to protect from getting burns in these cockpits. Even on a day like this, there'd be some serious temperature inside the cockpits of these cars. Yeah, so the, there's no real restrictions. They've basically got no firewall, move the engine as far back and you're sitting beside it. Still, Beninka's car is stuck down there under the gum tree. This is going to be enough for a safety car, perhaps. It's on the racing line. They'll know about it down there. Hopefully they can just get away with some double yellows. Tomas would be looking for a safety car. The field will be lucky to catch up. <laughs> the only one that yeah. won't like this will be Randall. At the moment, the gap 16 seconds. Back to Tomasi. Ricky Adello trying to fight back, but he's a further 12 seconds down the road. And here he is. Riccadello is starting to punch out some lap times now, showing exactly what, he's, what his car had. So he's you know, obviously set the thing up for the long run. So McLeod got back onto the track, but he's 15th and a lap down now in the Slick 50 sponsored RX7. Look at that, that's the margin back to second. Still didn't come into the shot. It's the 56 back on track of Bruce Banks and it's been earlier in the race. Here's your second place guy, Stephen Tomasi. go one lap short here as Randall comes around the inside of the circuit here and knows that Beninka's car there goes off the line a little bit. The gap 17 seconds are on our last lap now. It's been shortened and Thomas Randall's going to hold on. He's still getting up for it too so getting on the gas coming off the turn having a lovely time enjoying driving his car. He's got a massive future ahead of him here, of course, looking to go overseas. In fact, earlier this year, invented an automated dog feeder, which really? is, yeah, it's, uh, cool it's grown like a disease around the country. The very talented guy and engineer has got a massive future in motor racing as he comes around to take the chequered flag in the Kerrick sponsored car in round two, the Kerrick sports sedans, and Thomas Randall wins here at Winton Motor Raceway. He might be able to get together with Tony Quinn and help him sell some dog food with his automatic dog feeder. <laughs> That's a great idea. I have to word that up. Tomasi will hold on to second. Match. There's Tomasi. Great job. So using his hand. Doesn't quite have the pace of the guys in front of him. Probably more car related than than uh, than he's driving. So uh, good to see him doing a good job as well. Yeah, the gap was 18 seconds in the end. That matters yeah. not. He did join us last year in the race. And Ricky Dello after that moment down at turn three will hold on for third place. It's all about points for the eight-time champ. And a car that's been around for a long, long time now. I remember watching this as a kid growing up. Rich history in uh, yeah. sports sedan racing. When it gets retired eventually, see it going to a museum perhaps because it is a piece of Australian motor racing history. This guy writing himself into the history books though, Tom Randall, winner of race one of the weekend, the Kerrick Sports Sedans. Second round of the championship. Big, big win in this one. We take a look at the results. It was 17 seconds in the end down at Tomasi. Ricky Adello in third. Back to Musket. Good drive to him in the centerline suspensions car. Back to Smith, Robinson, Brown, Woodman. Down to Graham Gilliland, the former Super Speedway champ. Back in 10th place.